Hello, this is Kirill from ForexBoat.com and welcome back to the course on money management. In the previous tutorial, we talked about the Kelly's formula and today we're going to talk about Kelly's chart. So remember how we had um, four different types of outcomes, the optimal one, which was 25%, suboptimal one, 10%, um, break even outcome 50% and the ruin outcome at 75%. Well, now let's have a look in a bit more detail what happens as we change the amount that we risk on our account. So once again, um, we're plotting these results on the same chart, which on the horizontal axis has time, on the vertical axis has balance. So how will our balance change over time in the long run if we bet a certain percentage of our account on every single transaction? So if we bet 0% of our account balance, on every coin toss or on every uh, trade, obviously we will break even, nothing will change. Now let's see what will happen if we increase it to 10%. As we discussed previously, um, we will start earning money in the long run and um, our balance will go up. Now what will happen if we increase the percentage that we're betting to 25%? We start earning even more. So you can see how this arrow is moving from the center, it's moving to the left, and it's moving uh, into a more vertical position. Now if we keep increasing the amount that we bet, um, let's say if we bet 40% of our balance, then the arrow will go back down to the same position as it was at 10%. So you can check this for yourself. If you bet 40% uh, or if you bet 10% of your balance in this particular game that we've uh, decided to look at, uh, you will get exactly the same outcome in the long run. Next, if you keep increasing the balance that you're betting and you go to 50%, you will once again break even. So uh, the arrow will go back to exactly the same position as where it was at 0%. If you keep increasing the risk further and go to 60%, the arrow will start to drop down and it will go into the negative area. So um, your balance will start declining uh, and it'll move away from what it was originally. And if you keep increasing even further, say to 75%, your balance will even further um, decrease, so the arrow will go further down. So as you can see, we, know, we witnessed how the arrow went from 0%, it start, gradually went up um, all the way to the optimal outcome at 25%. And then it, as we increased the uh, risk exposure, it started to go back down, uh, to the break-even point and then it started to go into the negative area. And so let's plot all of this on a different chart. We'll just take these outcomes and plot them on a chart where uh, on the vertical axis we have return in the long run and on the horizontal axis now instead of um, time we have the risk percentage. So when we bet 0% um, our return is 0. It, when we bet 10% our return is greater. So our return in the long run increases. Of course it depends on the uh, number of uh, transactions and how long the sequence is, but generally speaking it uh, is above zero. Next, when we bet 25%, our return increases even further. So with the same number of transactions, our return at 25% in the long run will be greater than our return at 10%. Then when we keep increasing our risk exposure, we'll go to 40% as we just saw our return drops back to the same level as where it was at 10%. Next, when we increase our exposure to 50%, we're back at the break-even point. We don't have any return in the long run. Uh, if we increase our exposure to 60%, our return drops into the negative zone. So over time, we will be losing money. And finally, if we bet 75%, our return drops even further. And it doesn't stop there. We can bet 80%, 90%, all the way up to 100% the return will just keep dropping. So now if we connect these points with a line, this is what it'll look like. Now let's just get rid of the um, points themselves. We've got the line left. Now let's keep the main uh, points that are important. That's the 25 and 50%. And um, this is what our Kelly chart for our particular example looks like. Uh, our optimal outcome is at 25% risk. Our break-even point uh, is at 50% risk. And now what um, Kelly's chart or Kelly's formula says is that your optimal outcome will always be at 
will always be given by the Kelly formula. And the other interesting thing is that your break-even point will always be double that. So in uh, a generalistic sense, this is what your Kelly chart will look like for any type of uh, investment opportunity or trading strategy. So regardless of how you change the rules for the coin toss game or uh, moreover, what kind of trading strategy you use in your trading, your optimal outcome will always be if you, in the long run, if you bet exactly um, K percentage of your uh, account balance. And your break even point will always be double that, will always be at 2K. So, isn't that um, interesting that regardless of your trading strategy, your return to risk? profile will always look like this. Uh, when I found out about this, I was very intrigued. Um, it's, it just sounds impossible on one hand that uh, all the trading strategies in the world can be described through this um, um, chart. Once again, this kind of illustrates why money management is so important because once you know this, it doesn't really matter what kind of trading strategy you use. This gives you the power to take the maximum output of your trading strategy to make it the most uh, efficient, to make it most, uh, to give you the highest return. So if you, if out of the, all the traders that are using the same trading strategy, you're the only one who knows this, then you will outperform all of them. And um, don't rush yet into applying this into your in your trading because we've got a few more tutorials to go in this section and um, I'll explain things like volatility and um, conservative, aggressive, and other types of risk-taking. Um, so we've got quite a bit more to cover, but you can already see how um, this is empowering you or will be empowering you in your trading. And I hope you're getting excited about it. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.